are you always confused in between different office variants or versions? For example, which one is the best or which one is the latest? You should go with Office 2021 or Office 2019. Or what is difference between Office 365 and Office 2021? Which one is the latest and which one we should go for? Hi there everyone, my name is Preetam and in this video, I will be talking with you about these different variants of Microsoft Office and I hope that I may able to clear your doubts over Office and this video might help you that with which Office variant you should go for. Okay, so the classification of Office software is not that easy. Uh, if I talk in terms of revenue model or how the Microsoft is selling Office to us, it is like this. If you're going to buy Office 2019 or Office 2021, you are actually buying it only for one time. However, if you are buying Office 365, then you are not actually owning the software. You are renting it from Microsoft and you are paying a rental fee amount for per month or maybe per year based on the subscription model that you are following. So in a nutshell, we can say the Office 2016, 2019 and 2021, they are perpetual uh, base model or you need to buy them only once and then you can use it forever. If we talk about Office 365, then this is subscription based model. You're going to pay a little amount and you can use it till the time you are paying the subscription. Now the next question arises, why don't we simply go with the perpetual model? Why should then we consider paying it again and again? Okay, now let me tell you, most of the users nowadays will prefer going with Office 365 subscription model instead of going with perpetual one. And the biggest reason for that is obviously features. Yes, you heard it right. Despite you are using Office 2021, you may not able to get those exclusive features that comes with Office 365. For example, one terabyte of cloud space, maybe that one is not that much useful for you, but all the latest features comes with Office 365. Don't get it confused by the name Office 365. Maybe you may think Office 2021 came just last year and this one is quite new compared to Office 365, which we are listening continuously since so many years, but don't get confused. The Office 365 get continuous feature update compared to Office 2021, which only receives security updates in future once you buy it. And the biggest reason for having Office 365 is that you do not need to worry about PC because you are getting one terabyte of space per user, whether you are buying it for family or as an individual license. And there you can save your documents and it will make your documents device independent, which means that you can access your document from your phone, from your tablet, from your computer, from your home computer or any other device because you will have all your data sync in cloud. The next big point is you will get all the latest features that Microsoft every time continues to push. For example, if I talk about design ideas, design idea is great feature that you will get with Microsoft Office PowerPoint and is only available with Office 365. You won't get this cloud powered feature with normal perpetual license. The other major feature include the cloud powered voice typing feature that you can find in Microsoft Word. Similarly, you will see great features powered by cloud in Microsoft Excel and PowerPoint. And these features are exclusive, not because Microsoft don't want to put them in perpetual, but they need internet to work with them. Also, I believe the Microsoft is pushing hard the subscription based model instead of perpetual one. And if I talk about the perpetual based model, which is Microsoft Office 2021, 16, 19, generally the companies who don't want to share their data outside the companies, for those companies, this model is very useful because you know, in this case, there's nothing cloud powered. You do not need to sync it with external internet. So in such companies, this perpetual license is useful for us. The general people, I believe, 
the Microsoft Office 365 is the better way to go with. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that I may able to explain you the difference between Office 2016, 19, 365 and 2021. And I hope that after watching this video, you may able to make a better decision that with, with Office you should go for. I will also put the link of office.com from where you can directly buy Office rather than purchasing it from any third party reseller. And if you are using Office 365 in your organization, then you can avail 30% discount to office personal license. So that's all guys from my side in this video. Take care and bye bye.